When you are troubleshooting your sound system configuration in Windows 10, it's probably best to have a look at Device Manager to start off with. Device Manager will show you in here under Sound, Video and Game Controllers what hardware it thinks you have connected to the system. The top line here shows my AMD audio configuration. Uh, basically, I have a Radeon graphics card, and within that, there is a audio controller, which gives the ability to configure the audio using an HDMI cable. That is what I'm connected to at the minute to my amplifier. So I've got a high definition HDMI setup. These next two devices are my video capture for uh, terrestrial and freeview television. So they have their own merit for being in there and are useful for watching and recording transmissions. The next one is the HP Premium Digital Headset. Basically, it's a headphone with a microphone, which I'm talking to you from at the moment. Uh, at the back, we have the Realtek Audio hardware, which is built into the motherboard. The motherboard I use is a Gigabyte motherboard, uh, which has the Realtek chip for audio. We'll have a look at that later on in the configuration section. Now, the f when you have a look at the sound, the first thing you usually do is go to the settings and go to the sound. All right, this is what some of the choices you would have. On my one, I have the output, and I've got three choices. HDMI, optical output, which is sometimes referred to as SPDIF, or the headphone, where I want the sound to go. So we'll go with the HDMI. And again, in here, you have lots of properties you can look at and manage devices, but we'll do that from the uh, control panel in a second. So again, for the microphone, you've got the microphone in the rear or the microphone in the digital headset. Okay, now we're going to have a look at the sound control panel. Uh, you go there via a control panel, you launch the sound icon, which will give you a view of what's available on your system. Again, this utility will show you what's available, but it may hide disabled devices. So if you want to see the disabled devices, you can do that. And here, as you can see, there's lots of AMD disabled devices. Those are disabled because, every, you know, are the same thing as this one here. What happens every time I update the Radeon drivers, it creates a new configuration in here and uh, I'm sure you can disable this or get rid of these by drawing through the registry but anyway for our purpose we can just hide them there you go I'm just hidden them you can also uh, have a disconnected device show up in here okay now, most of these devices have some kind of configuration. Uh, the first one we're going to have a look at is the HDMI. So in here we have configure speakers, test them, or we can disable or make it as default. So we'll have a look at configuring the speakers. This is configured as 7.1 and all the speakers are showing up in here. 
if you wanted to test any of these you can just click on the specific speed where you want to test if your system has Dolby Atmos and uh, any other things you may benefit from that but I haven't got that so that's as much as I can do with this we're gonna go next here this bit of the configuration is to customize your speakers This section defines how these speakers are set up. By that we mean, are they set up as full range speakers or are they, you know, small speakers? If you set up the speakers to be full range speakers, they will take on the job of the bass section of the sound along with the subwoofer. But if you set them up to be small speakers, most of the work on the bass section is done by the subwoofer. So bear that in mind when you're setting this up. I have full range speakers in my system, so um, the sound is configured accordingly. Once we've done that, we can finish off this section. Gonna have a look at the um, analog sound system. Most motherboards will have connections at the back which will provide jack sockets to connect analog signals to your amplifier. Now these are not visible at the moment, so we're gonna show the disconnected devices. As you can see, it's, um, it's been given a name, rear audio sockets, that, which can be changed by yourself. So, as you can see, it's disabled and unplugged at the moment. But if I wanted to enable it, and have a look at the properties. And there we can see it's given us three sockets. These sockets are all... 3.5mm rear sockets which you plug something into them uh, the left and right, rear left and right center speaker and subwoofer these will all take 3.5mm jacks okay, you can enable or disable this device from here and it's as simple as that but you need to connect and wire the cables manually to your amplifier To help with that uh, utility, uh, my motherboard, which is a gigabyte motherboard, provides this utility. This utility will show you the playback devices that are available on the motherboard. And you've got optical out, which doesn't have a lot you can configure apart from the equalizer mode and the environment also you've got a um, uh, default for sampling rate which you can change if you need to uh, the environment options and the sound effect options now we look at rear microphone nothing unusual here 
the thing I find useful is the microphone boost in here. Apart from that, it's all fairly straightforward. Again, you've got the sampling rate at the bottom, which you can change. Now, the next thing we're going to have a look at the advanced settings, which basically will show us the rear of the motherboard. As you can see, you've got the back panel jack sockets labeling. You've got the center and subwoofer. You can't do a lot with these uh, static things. Rear speaker out, front speaker out. The only thing that you can uh, change or modify is the microphone. When you plug the microphone, if you don't have a microphone, you can plug something different in the uh, microphone input. Say you have another pair of speakers, you can put them there. So that can be useful. Um, some people will wire up configuration for the front of the case. You can wire up a headphone socket and a microphone socket if you have that desire, but you need to do that manually and you need to plug in a little header and some wires to do that on the motherboard. Okay, that's as much as I can show you in regards to the audio configuration.